So if Nashville keeps it up, they're going to be known more for their ATV outlaws than they are their country music. And I don't know why I'm laughing because it's actually not that funny. Hey, do you want to stay up to date on the latest ATV trails, reviews, and news? Obviously you do. So hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss our future videos. We're going to go ahead and get started with our first story, which is Polaris. Now, apparently Polaris is not too happy about the fact that Tracker Boats is double dipping and getting into the off-road community because Polaris is now doing the exact same thing. Now I say that half kidding because Polaris actually started this back in like May of 2018 when they bought out Boat Holdings LLC, who I think makes pontoons. I gotta be honest, I know almost nothing about the boating industry, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and creep in here. You basically know nothing about the off-road industry either. Fair enough. <laughs> so according to BoatIndustries.com, Polaris entered the boating industry by acquiring Boat Holdings LLC in an all-cash transaction valued at approximately $850 million. Now, I don't know what all-cash transaction means in a fancy business world, but I like to imagine that there's a bunch of dudes in suits with briefcases full of cash. Obviously, that's not the case. I don't even know why I'm bringing that up. It just sounds cool. So anyway, that was in May of last year. Now, recently, as in the last couple months, Polaris went ahead and upped their game even more by buying Larson Boating Group. Now, Polaris has tons of companies that, if you really look at the umbrella of how it all falls, Boat Holdings owns Bennington, Godfrey, Rinker, and Hurricane, and Larson Boats owns Larson, Larson FX, Saltwater Boats, and Striper, all who are now owned by Polaris, who also owns Polaris ATVs, Polaris Snowmobiles, Polaris, I think they have jet skis, don't they? I don't normally do jet skis, but I think they have jet skis. So Polaris has really upped their game when it comes to the recreational industry. Now, I don't really know what spawn Polaris want to get back into the marine industry. I mean, well over a decade ago, they were involved and I think they sold all their marine like side of the house back in 2004. Maybe it's the ever increasing sales when it comes to boats. I mean, boating is continuing to go up year over year in the past few years. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume that that has something to do with it. All right. So let me just state this story is not new news. I actually came across this. I was digging into something else for this video and somehow I just stumbled on it. I don't even really remember how anymore, but it's new to me. So therefore, here you go. And that is. Odes Industries. Now, maybe you've heard of this company. I have not. I mean, seriously, I've never heard of this company before. So when I stumbled across it, it shocked me, to be honest. And, and this company, Odes Industries, has an entire line of ATVs and side-by-sides that I never even knew existed. I mean, maybe if I dig deep back into my memory bank, I've heard the name. Like, it sounds kind of familiar, but I've never seen one, and I've certainly never been in one. And if you put one in front of me and covered the logo, I would have absolutely no idea what it is. So I just, I thought it was shocking. I, I'm curious if you know what it is, leave a comment down below. But this company has everything from your standard ATVs to your side-by-sides to this here, the Ravage, which is a sports side-by-side. -side. So the fact that this company's out there and has all these machines, it just kind of blew my mind to be honest. So. A little bit about the company, they state that their mission is to provide the best quality and the best prices. All right, Odes, like that's pretty generic. But when I dug into the company a little bit more, I was actually intrigued by their logo because they, they actually explain it. And if you look at their logo, you'll notice it states 1215 1791 and they go on to explain why that's in their logo and this I thought was pretty cool They state that the reason they have this in their logo is because that date is when Virginia Became the deciding state to approve and ratify the constitutional amendments and when the Bill of Rights became law And they go on to state that Odes Industries believes in standing behind these rights and hopes to create awareness of them now I don't want to get political. This isn't something that's meant for the right side or the left side because no matter which side you're on, you should be pro the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. I mean, at least here in America. But I thought it was super awesome that the company has values and something that they're trying to, you know, get out there and they're they're willing to stand by those values and put them in front of their brand, right? So that, that in itself, I mean, I thought was pretty awesome. But otherwise, I, I really hope to do some more videos on odes in the future hopefully we'll get the opportunity to, to test drive some of these and, and to check them out i'm going to try and reach out and, and see what angle we can get there because quite honestly 
I know literally nothing else about them other than the very, very basic information I read on their website in only a couple minutes. All right, so our big story for the week is Tennessee and their ATV problem. Now, a lot of states have the issue of people illegally riding on the streets, you know, here and there, ones and twos, whatever it may be. But Tennessee is having a really big, legitimate ATV problem. And that is they're having many, many, many people out riding these machines out on the streets, creating issues, creating traffic jams, creating accidents, robbing people. And in certain circumstances, as in within like two weekends ago now, cops are actually getting hurt. So this is a big deal. This isn't like a joke. This isn't one or two people here goofing off. This is an actual problem where ATVs are getting a really bad name. People are getting hurt. People are getting robbed. And it's a real problem. And the police department has stated part of the issue they're having with this right now is ATVs, one of the reasons we all like them so much, are extremely easy to maneuver, right? They can get in and out of traffic real easy, up and down curbs. They can basically go on the streets wherever they want because they're ATVs. And that's creating a bigger issue for the cops. Now, it has actually gotten so bad that according to Nashville's Channel 5 News, an officer was hit by an ATV and dragged down the road, as you can see right here. And if that's not bad enough, I mean, that's probably like the icing on the cake, because now we're talking about law enforcement officers actually getting hurt. But on top of that, like I mentioned, car accidents are happening. These ATVs are hitting cars or causing cars to hit each other. And on top of that, they're robbing people. They're actually robbing people as they're out doing this. Like, come on, man. Like, that's that's crazy. That pisses me off. And according to Channel 4 News in Nashville, the citizens of Nashville complain that this is a common occurrence. Like, a common occurrence. Really? Maybe not to this level, but the fact that that's happening more frequently than just one or two times, which is already bad enough, is crazy. And the police department down there is complaining because they're like over 100 plus police officers understaffed right now. So they're having a hard time keeping up with this type of issue because the amount of law enforcement it, it must take just to try and rein in ATVs as they're driving all over the city in, in you know, dozens and dozens at a time is just, I'm, I'm sure it's astronomical and puts a serious strain on the department. So honestly, it just pisses me off. Like, come on. And I'm not, I'm not yelling at you. It's just the whole thing pisses me off because it's not only going to affect the city of Nashville, which unfortunately is, and I'm sorry for those that live down there and have to deal with this, but it's also going to affect the entire state of Tennessee when it comes to things like new trails and new parks. This negativity is going to be there surrounding ATVs, and quite frankly, that could spawn to other parts of the country as well. So it just pisses me off, to be honest. It's That sucks, man. That's total bullcrap. So with that, I'm just going to end it here because now I'm pissed and lost my train of thought. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, and, I hope to see you on the trail, but not the streets of Tennessee. Peace. I think today actually marks one month of doing these, so leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of them. It seems like they're going over well. They seem to be uh, well received. Let me know what you think.